Hey, Jim Moyna here, and a little bit of advice with trolling motor propellers. So that right there. Okay, you know, I shot a video on this, uh, I don't know, a couple months ago. And let me just review that one really quick. Basically, I was suggesting that, hey, when you have worn edges on your propeller, when your motor, when the vibration of the spinning propeller starts like shaking the, the motor, and the shaft of the motor, uh, it's time to change propellers, put on a new one. And so that's what I was up against uh, a couple months ago. It was, it was my first trip with this boat after it had, had been stored all winter. So in, in the new propeller, it's been running fabulous ever since. But there was one thing that kind of didn't sit right with me. And that was the last tournament that I fished before I stowed this boat was on Dale Hollow Lake right at right around Halloween so and there was no vibration on this I mean it was the same old worn propeller there was no excessive vibration or any vibration so then what happens I store the boat for the winter or until February take it out down to Florida first thing when I put it in the water that all that vibration so I just wrote it off as it was the warm propeller but it, it it didn't sit right with me because why was the same propeller working fine at Halloween but three months later November December well four months later four months later it's like vibrating like crazy so I was having a discussion with uh, some of the service uh, gentlemen at Frankie's Live Bait Marine in Sasago City, Minnesota. And immediately they told me that the blades were warped. So I'm like, what? Why are the blades warped? And then they went on to just tell me that a boat cover can do that. And sure enough, that's exactly what it totally made sense then. Because when I put the boat cover on my boat, this is how I would store store my trolling motor. So you can either have the propeller on this side or you can have a propeller on that side. You know, this whole thing will flip. So either way. And whenever I put my boat cover on, I always have my propeller on this side. And when you pull that boat cover really tight, it was apparently it was uh, apparently it was warping the warping that blade. So now, I, I still like to stow this like this when the cover's off, but whenever I put the cover on now, I just rotate this whole shaft and everything 180 degrees and that uh, so that the propeller's on the inside and then the there's not all that stress on that blade. But really, because you can really see, when I put the cover on here, you can see this propeller blade. Like, I mean, it's, it's, it's taken, it, it, there's some stress on that, so. Anyhow, that is my advice. Take it or leave it. Take it if you want to go through fewer propellers. Leave it if you want to just buy a new propeller every time. That was stupid. Anyways, you got the point. Over.